Well, this is why you won an Oscar and I didn't. <laughs> Shut up! So you've, you've never interviewed anyone, so you didn't know. So I've just never interviewed anyone before, so I, I mean, this would be some kind of like, oh, for one. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Hey Jen, how do you feel about when he first comes in? You kind of being a little bit on edge, like not your normal nice self, like a little bit. No, I am. I'm gonna like be on my phone and be a little bit of a dick. <laughs> Perfect. <right? laughs> a little distracting. Please, Lord Almighty, don't let me f this up. Hi. How are you? Okay. Okay, we're rolling all around, everybody. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Let's frank it forward. So you're just nervous because your friend was supposed to do this? But my my friend was supposed to do this, but, you know, I volunteered as tribute, so, <laughs> you know. What's that from? I don't know. I think it was, I mean, I think it was Titanic. I think. I don't really remember. It was from my movie. No, it was from my movie. <sighs> tell her to spice up her day. You're going to uh, tell her a joke. Do you want to hear a joke? Yeah. Say so California must be a really big fan of Hunger Games. California must be a really big fan of Hunger Games. Because it's always catching fire. Because it's always catching fire. This is a horrible interview. My friend lost a house in one of the California fires. Oh no. Okay, so rough, rough subject then. Yeah. They like lost a dog. Be like, oh, it's just a house. Don't make this depressing. Well, I'm just saying, you should be careful. You never know. Ask her if it's okay if you take off your your shoes. Just, I hope you don't mind. It's just my feet get really hot when I get nervous, so just, can you please just remind me I put my shoes there? I don't think I'll forget. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, just get comfortable. So you feel a little bit awkward because you're the only one with uh, without shoes on. Well, now, I, I don't know. I just feel kind of awkward because now you're the only one with shoes on. Don't take them off. Don't take them off. I'm not going to take my shoes off. So you didn't think so. I didn't think so. <laughs> but uh, you know, I thought I thought I'd give it a give it a shot. Are you high? Am I high? I I hope not. <laughs> I don't think so. Last time I checked. Hand her the crossbow. I'd like you to have this. Thank you. Put an apple on your head, and I want you to try to shoot it off my head. Oh my god, I would. <laughs> I'm I would your... so close my eyes if I were you. No, I I trust you. <laughs> I trust you, Jennifer. Fire away. I, I really, I'm being Let me serious. Do this. Okay. <laughs> that was a perfect shot. Okay. Uh, that was awesome. Thanks. We're Can one I be for three for one second? Yes. Will you put your shoes back on? I'm waiting for the smell to hit me. Okay, yeah. It's bad, you know? I. Shoot Ian again, right in the face. Do you want to go for two, or do you think that was? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, that was. Keep going. Sorry. Way off. I was off. Okay, here we go. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> go in the bag and pull out a piece of bread. I don't understand a word he's saying next. Do you know what this is? What? Pita. No. It's. PETA. <laughs> Start laughing a lot. <laughs> what? It's PETA. <laughs> you don't get it? I don't get it. Like PETA? Oh, you're making a dumb Hunger Games thing. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. PETA bread. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, we are so full of funny jokes. We're so full of funny jokes. Are you being sarcastic? I'm glad I'm thinking of all these things to myself right now. So it's always been your dream to do a scene with an Oscar-winning actor. Can we do a scene together? Sure. She's your barber, and you're cutting my hair. Okay. So, so you just come uh, over here. Yeah. His hair looks like Justin Bieber's. Your hair looks like Justin Bieber's. Are you sure you <laughs> want me you. to do anything with it? You don't want me I to believe in you. Anything? I believe in you, Jayla. Okay. Well, so you know, how's your home life? Where are you from? Smell his hair. I'm from a. From a rough neighborhood. I'm gonna be honest. How did, how did it your smell? Your hair doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> Tell her everything <laughs> smells like feet, and you're you're embarrassed. Sorry, everything I have just smells like feet. <laughs> She's not getting offended. 
just kind of permeates throughout me. Yeah, well, you should put your shoes back on. I should, but I don't like wearing shoes. So, Jen, it's like you work so hard in these press events, and he's coming in here laughing at you, so you're offended. But do you not feel like in a professional situation you should maybe stay fully clothed, just out of respect for who you're interviewing? No. No, you don't feel that way? I just feel like I have to do these interviews all day. Yeah. In heels. Yeah, well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have to. This is, this is your game, man. Yeah. You do whatever you want. So I don't know why the shoe thing got to me. I was like, this mother thinks he can come in and take. Because you're jealous. Shoes. I've been in heels for twelve hours. Oh. Didn't matter. Get this. I was being I serious about the lack of respect. I'm being serious. I just feel like this is like a waste of everybody's time. I'm sorry. I feel like you're not really a professional. I'm sorry. Let us have done. I'm done. I guess that's the end. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Is this where Jen was? Yeah. Yeah. Who was the interviewer? Hmm? Who was the interviewer? I was. You were doing the interview? Yes. What what happened, Brian? Uh, we were we were doing this thing know. that we've done for a while where I feed him stuff to say in the earpiece. Uh, right. And then it wasn't funny, man. Yeah, I just think it's pretty disrespectful, dude. I'm sorry. No, yeah. I mean it's, it's Jen's usually pretty cool with that kind of thing, and she was yeah, pissed. I mean, me. man, she I'm sorry, pissed. man. You upset we someone like Jen. Okay, I get it. You. I get it. And this is the mastermind behind the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't even I in here. Too, I, was like, I, I, <laughs> I wasn't even in here. And your face, when she left, was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Thanks so much for pranking us, Dylan. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was a lot of fun. I, we've never been pranked ourselves, and we always do all no. these pranks, so I guess it's about time. <laughs> and if you guys want to learn more about Duchenne muscular dystrophy, click the link below. And guys, make sure to click the link below. Also, to check out Dylan's YouTube channel. He deserves it. Go check it out, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed us getting the crap embarrassed out of us, because, oh my god. If you guys want to see more Prank It Forward videos, click the video on the left. I'm Noah, this is Megan Trainer. This is Noah. <laughs> or the video on the right. We teamed up with our friends at Barefoot Wine and Bubbly to give Sherry and her dogs a surprise that they will never forget. If you guys want to get involved, you can share this video by using the hashtag Prank It Forward. For every 1,000 views this video gets, the more money we'll be able to donate to the wonderful charity DoSomething.org. So thanks for watching and sharing.